Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing fine. Uh, I miss you guys. Um, we're ready to get started at the next step of our landscape with a building project. Um, you should have already finished uh, practice number one, which was the one point perspective boxes. Practice number two, which was the two point perspective boxes. You need to have finished those before you go on to this one. This is uh, practice number three aerial perspective. So we're switching over from linear perspective to aerial perspective. Before you start this project, make sure you read the assignment on Canvas. Um, the assignment on Canvas, um, the front, the, the page that the, the assignment is, tells you step by step what to do, and it takes you through these videos too. Make sure you read that first, and one of the first things it tells you to do is to read your notes, at which I've attached to that assignment on Canvas. All right, make sure you read your notes because a lot of the words I'm going to use won't make any sense to you if you don't remind yourself or don't uh, learn those words uh, already. All right, so you need to to do that first. Um, on this piece of paper, um, we're going to be drawing. Now you can use your uh, printer paper again if you uh, don't have any drawing paper. Um, but if you've got drawing paper from me, or if you have your own drawing paper, um, using this bigger size is a little easier to do this work. This is 9 inches this way by 12 inches this way. 9 by 12 makes it a little easier to draw everything that I'm wanting you to draw. You can still make it work on the printer paper, which is 8.5 by 11. A little smaller, but you can still make it work. All right. Your first step is um, you're going to put in, uh, as the directions on uh uh, canvas tell you, you're going to put a horizon line onto your picture plane. Um, I want you to uh, put your paper horizontally in front of you and um, half of the distance from top to bottom you're going to measure at the left and the right. On my paper it's nine inches so it's four and a half inches down from the top at the left and the right. Draw on your horizon line and then I want you to plot two vanishing points. We're doing two point perspective to draw a little house on the horizon line. So part of it's going to be above, part of it's going to be below for being on eye level. All right. So I want you to put a vanishing point that's about an inch from the left edge of the paper on the horizon line at the left and another one at the right side that's about half an inch from the, the side. You can measure it if you want to or you can just eyeball it but make sure that you have two vanishing points and they need to be uh, far away, uh, far enough away from the center of the paper that you can get everything in place. Our next step is we're going to um, be putting in some streets and a sidewalk and a building into that perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my streets first. I'm going to put a, a line that comes from the vanishing point down to almost the middle of the paper. Here's the middle of the paper right about here. So I'm going to make it stop before that um, and I'm going to draw my line right here. That's going to be the line that separates my street from my ground that the house is built on. And I'm going to do the same thing at the right hand side. So our house is going to be in a, a corner house. Uh, we're going to have two streets, one at the left and one at the right. This street we're going to bring it down at about the same angle. Notice they're not meeting on the paper. They're meeting below the bottom edge of the paper somewhere um, and it's going this way. Uh, toward the center. So this little rectangle is about the same size as that rectangle, right? A little close uh, close enough. Um, and then we're going to draw in a sidewalk. The sidewalk is actually going to take up part of the room that we put for the, for the street. The sidewalk is going to come from the same point on the vanishing point um, at the horizon line and it's going to come downward. The distance uh, from the line that we just drew to the line that we're going to draw is about an inch or so wide at the bottom here of the paper and it's going to meet at the vanishing point on the horizon line. We're going to do the same thing at the right hand side too and it's going to be a little bit um, closer to us here believe it or not than it is over there so we're going to make it a little bit wider here. Not a lot but a little bit. It needs to look wide enough that a person could be standing there and looking at our house. Okay. So that's our first steps. Um, while we're at it, let's go ahead and label this piece of paper. Now that we know where the street is, where the sidewalk is, put your name and period number. I'm putting Leclerc in fifth period. I don't have a fifth period drawing one class. Um, just to make it simple for myself. And then on the left hand side, let's put um, the other label, which is the label of the assignment. This is Aerial Perspective. If you don't know how to spell it, get your notes out. Open it up. Aerial Perspective Practice. 
And if it overlaps the, the sidewalk a little, that's okay. Just practice. All right, don't make it too big. Um, I do need it to be big enough that I can see it. If you don't remember to do that, I can't give you the points because I won't know whose it is when I start grading them after I uh, take them from Canvas, uh, from your email to Canvas, all right? So now, um, now that you know what to do, go ahead and do the work. And then when you're done doing this much, come back and we'll go to uh, video number two.